Okay, Chris, you have something that probably only two other people in the world has on their Jeep, correct? That is true. There are only two in the wild other than the third one, which the owner has, uh, the inventor, on his Jeep. Um, so there's only two of us that actually have them outside of that. And that's this um, heavy-duty Griffin from Steer Smarts for the Yeti uh, drag link. So um, I believe you had one of these in its uh, for the stock drag link, which is quite a bit smaller. It replaces yep. the adjustment sleeve on the factory drag link. Um, this one is designed uh, like 10x. It's it's much beefier to handle uh, the forces associated with the heavy duty drag link. So uh, this is a top mount drag link from Steer Smart. So the whole Yeti system is the is the drag link, um, and then I've got this uh, heavy duty tie rod, and then of course the attenuator, which is another option on top of that. Um, but top mount drag link. Uh, the cool thing about it, its patented design allows you to run a top mount. Uh, drag link without drilling the knuckle or getting a replacement knuckle. So it uses the stock uh, knuckle on the JK. Um, and uh, that's a pretty cool idea. And I can't believe nobody else has done it, but uh, these guys did it. So uh, it seems to work really well. And how would you say your ride is? Uh, phenomenal. Um, so th the problem is I, I went I went big all the way at once, right? I went from a completely stock steering setup to not only the Yeti heavy duty uh, tie rod and drag link, but also a top steer setup and also a, uh, a the attenuator on the drag link. So there are so many things that happened at once that it completely changed my steering. So I can't pinpoint, you know, this change made that feel different and this change made that feel different. But it went from, um, it was already great, to be honest with you, my, my, uh, my Jeep drove great, but it literally just smoothed off all the edges. Um, so now when I drive down the road, you know, my steering wheel used to sort of move a little bit and shimmy with the road. Now it's completely still um, and, um, and it just cruises so nicely. So uh, it drives literally like a, like a luxury car. Uh, it surprised me. Um, but again, a lot happened all at the same time, right? I went, I went high steer and, uh, you know, like these ball joints are, um, are super tight. So, um, they're going to, they're going to give me a different feel. Also, it's got no flop, uh, ball joints. So normally you can go to your tie rod and roll it back and forth. You know, we may be able to show you that here. Here's your Jeep. So you've got a stock tie rod still. So I can show you this. See how I can... Yeah. Roll your tie rod. So that's that's called flop. And basically what it is is because your ball joints um, are allowed to move um, and this thing is off center, the weight just kind of allows it to rock. So when you go on heavy, um, or I'm sorry, you go on bumpy roads or gravel roads or washboards or things like that, that'll bounce up and down and you'll hear it banging, bang, 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 bang. Um, but with this, it's impossible to turn it. It won't rotate at all um, because that ball joint over there has a, uh, a limiting motion that will only allow it to move in one direction. And same thing with the, uh, the drag link. The drag link can't, can't flop either. Um, and so uh, it really, uh, really is a cool add-on. There are ways to do it aftermarket. Um, there are like spacers and uh, little things you can add to your ball joint to limit the flop, but they just built it right into the, uh, to the ball joint on this, so. And you are helping them tweak. Yeah, so I'm helping test the Griffin, uh, the heavy duty Griffin, which the... is this right here. Okay. Um, and uh, so because I'm the uh, one of only two people that have it, we're um, you know providing feedback on you know how it drives, what we think about it. So my Colorado trip, for example, is going to be a good opportunity for me to test it um, and uh, give him some feedback. There's a lot of highway miles involved. There's going to be a lot of mountain uh, mountain road miles. So. Uh, it's a good candidate to sort of um, let him know what I think about it, um, but uh, also giving feedback on the whole system. But everything else is already in production and available uh, for purchase from Steer Smarts, but this Griffin yet uh, is not available. It won't be out maybe till August. Um, and there's already some changes that are going to be made um, that uh, will change the final version of this based on you know discussions I've had with Ron. So. Well, good luck. Thanks.